Hey everybody, hey, it's Clem, Clem Ricketts with Clem's Country Kitchen Cooking. Now we're still in Flagstaff. Today is a rainy day. Um, a couple days ago I went out, you know how they say, uh, I went here, but I, 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 I bought you a t-shirt? So that's what I did. I bought a friend a t-shirt because they couldn't come with me. <laughs> so it's raining outside. It's beautiful. The air smells sweet. And um, I don't feel like getting out in that rain right now. So we're gonna do a, a nice little ditty for you. And this is, uh, what did we get? It's a rosemary olive oil loaf of bread. Now I'm gonna cut it in half, just like this, okay? Now I'm only gonna use, whoop, oh, good save there, Clem. I'm only gonna use one half to show you this nice little bread baked bread and uh i like the top a little more fluffy too plump so i'm going to use that and set the other aside things we're going to need is a, a nice ripe avocado and a nice beautiful beef eater organic mater and here that's their pepper so that's the pepper i'm going to use some ground sage some basil leaves, also uh, mi oops, sorry, Mikiyokos. I have a hard time always saying that. Miyokos. The Miyokos non-dairy cultured vegan butter. And then the other thing we're gonna need, a little more olive oil, and some organic pre-washed spinach. So these are the things we're gonna be using. It's gonna be pretty quick and easy. So I've already cut the loaf. And now the time to prep the loaf is what's necessary. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna go in there and take that vegan butter. One of my favorites, it's not colored or anything. Again, it's this. And I'm gonna enjoy just- I'm gonna take some more of that ground sage and do a quarter. Just a little quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna put that in a glass because I don't have like a little mixing dish here. This is um, a resort and it is a one bedroom apartment in the resort, but they don't have everything. So I'm using this little glass right here where I'm gonna marinate everything together. And then I'm gonna take another quarter teaspoon basil. I'm gonna throw that in that glass too. Next up, because I want this to kind of marinate. Take my olive oil, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do, that's one tablespoon, two, and one more. So three tablespoons of olive oil, okay? Just put it right in there. And that's the Italian or Italian extra virgin 100% olive oil okay Kirkland's brand you get that over at Costco that's um a great place to get things in bulk when you know you're going to be using them a lot so we're just going to set this aside and the idea is <clears throat> we need to whisk it up a little bit so we don't have a whisk in here but what we do have a fork so stir it around okay and then what you can do is take your teeny weeny weeny little pepper shaker that they have here and just give a few dashes in there too because you're going to let that marinate. You don't want too much of the pepper in there because you're going to add more pepper later. Let that marinate just like that in the glass. Set that aside. <clears throat> You'll go and take your maters and you're going to put your maters on top let me just show you. You're gonna put your maters right here. We're gonna take that mater, we're gonna slice it, take the top and the bottom off, and then we're gonna take 
and make two large, lovely slices like this that's gonna cover the bread. And you're only gonna need two because it's a nice size beef eater tomato. All right, or mater. And we're gonna do something special in just a moment. This is gonna be kinda nice when you see what I do. Be right back. Right on top of that bread, like that. Then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna sprinkle it with a little pepper, just like that. And then you know that little olive oil mix you made? You're gonna swirl that around a little bit more. Don't use it all because you're gonna need some later. And just gonna, just sprinkle a little bit on top of those meters, just like that. You can even do a little on the bread, okay? Remember, you got some spice already on the bread. So you're just gonna do that, kind of lather it up a little bit. <clears throat> now, before we toss her into the oven, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of vegan cheese on top too. We ain't done yet. This is, this is a nice little dish, a nice little snack that you can have. And this is the cheese right here. This is diet cheese. Um, and that's the shredded cheddar style, okay? So just add a little bit of that right on there. Remember, you're gonna be broiling, so you have to keep an eye on that barley or you cook that down way too much and you will scorch your bread. Okay. Now, we're just gonna take our pan and we're gonna put that on the pan like that. You can put it on foil on the rack if you want to, but this is an easy way to do it. It's gonna catch anything that wants to drip. It won't go through the grating inside the oven. And we're gonna come back to that in about five to 10 minutes. Depends on how long, because I preheated the oven on broil. It depends on how long, but I'll keep an eye on it. We'll get back to that. Ooh, that did not take long at all. That bread is looking fine and crispy. Um, just around the edges, just the way you want it. The cheese is melted a little bit on the maters and the olive oil soaked in. So that probably only took about four minutes and I turned the pan to make sure that it um, braised evenly in the oven. And you have to keep an eye on it because you are broiling. That bread and mater and everything else is still hot, fresh out the oven. You wanna go ahead and lay your spinach down on top, okay? Just let it get on there so that the spinach will wilt just a little bit on the top. You don't want it to be too sag soggy, but you want it to get on there. And you're not gonna need that many leaves, you can see that. And just leave it like that. And if you need to, when the oven is off and the broiler's not really on, you can put it back in the oven for just about um, a minute and that will help soften the spinach leaves. All right. Last thing we're gonna be putting on there is half an avocado. I hear that thunder rolling through here in the mountains in Flagstaff, Arizona. So we're just gonna go ahead, slice that puppy right in half. Look at that, twist it right off. It's delicious looking. And before I even take it out of there, I'm just gonna slice my avocado just like that right in the shell and I know some people know how to do this already so I ain't giving you anything special now the next step is going to be grab a spoon and I got one right here in the drawer and we're gonna go work, work around that shell it's pretty thick we don't want to take it out yet but we want to work it loose there we go. And we're just gonna leave that like that for the moment. There, get underneath it on both sides. And then we're gonna go get that bread and we're gonna finish up. Now we got the bread out the oven. We're just about there. It's gonna be hot. I'm gonna transfer it real quick. You can see I wilted the leaves a little bit by putting it back in the oven, but the oven was off. So it was just the heat that kind of softened the leaves. Perfect. Next step is we're gonna go ahead and lay our avocado right in there. 
Just get those suckers out of there. Kind of spread them around. They're jumping, look at that, man. Get that on there, get that on there. And we got one little sliver, we can put it right in there. And we lost that half of one down here. There, so that's now, it. You remember that stuff we were marinating earlier? That's this right here. All right, we're gonna drizzle that all across the top, just like that. Be generous with it. Look at that, doesn't it look beautiful? And then last but not least, our eeny teeny weeny pepper shaker. Go ahead, try to get some, <laughs> try to get some out of that shaker. Whoa, we making a mess there, aren't we? Try to get some out of that shaker and go ahead and just put it on there. There we go. Now it's ready to eat. That's all there is to it. We hope you like this little demonstration. Didn't take that long to make this and it's gonna be delicious. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice that between the maters right in half to share with a friend. That way that big old piece ain't all going into my mouth. And this is gonna be a nice little afternoon treat. You can have it with a smoothie, and some iced coffee, whatever you like. You can enjoy this with a nice little drink and this will tide you over till dinner time. We slice them right in two. So they're ready to be served with whatever you like. I like to say, mm -hmm. happy appetite.